Welcome back, hello, Sunders. We're reacting to Avatar The Last Airbender. This is chapter 15 called Battle of the Water Tribe. Let's get out! We're finally going to get to the North Pole. Hopefully. Oh, that's a hey, look, nice it's sword. Out of a whale's tooth. Let me a see whale's that. tooth, damn. Ah. That's kind of cool, you know. It's probably North Pole. Finally. Oh, no, it's some, something he's recognized. Could be from the South Pole. This is a water tribe weapon. Water tribe. See if you can find anything else. Interesting. Hopefully they're able to find their people. It's burned. There was a battle. Fire Nation. Water tribe warriors ambushed a group of firebenders. Oh, the damn. Firebenders fought back, but the warriors drove them down this hill. Okay. So then what happened? I don't know. The trail ends here. Wait, look. It's one of our boats. Oh, wow. Ooh. Still here. Is this Dad's boat? Yo. No, but it's from his fleet. Ah, from okay. his fleet. Dad was here. Look out! Ah! Oh, my goodness. We're after a stowaway. There are no stowaways on my ship. Who Look, the hell is she? Dark. And who is she? Yeah, you're right. You usually firebending, get this person off your ship. Oh, my gosh. You can smell something. What are you smelling? Oh, my gosh. Temporarily, toxins will wear off in about an hour. But by then, Duh. get in jail and I'll have my money. Oh, she's a bounty hunter. My sheer shoe can smell a rat a continent away. Sheer shoe. Well, I'm impressed. Damn, okay. In and out of that quick, you got what she wanted. Have they just abandoned their ships? Sokka. I'm coming with you. You're not old enough to go to war, Sokka. You know that. I'm strong. I'm brave. I can fight. Please, Dad. Being a man is knowing where you're needed the most. And for you right now, that's here protecting your sister. I'm gonna miss you so much. <laughs> Who's there? Sokka? Bato? Who the what? Oh, this guy's called Bato. Yeah. Sokka. Maybe part of his dad's thingy, fleet. Fleet, yeah. So good to see you. One of his men. Oh, you've grown so much. Hi, I'm Aang. Where's Dad? Is he here? No, he and the other warriors should be in the Eastern Earth Kingdom by now. Why is he being left behind? <sighs> this is no place for a reunion. Looks like he's been hurt badly with all his bandages. Well, they're gonna leave Aang behind. <laughs> After I was wounded, your father carried me to this abbey sisters who cared for me ever since superior these are Hakoda's children they've been traveling with the avatar Hakoda, that's the dad's name found them by my boat young avatar it gives me great joy to be in your presence welcome to our abbey what smells so good bato the sisters craft ointments and perfumes perfume maybe we could dump some on Arthur <laughs> because he stinks so much <laughs> am i right silence you have your father's wit <laughs> It looks like home. Everything's here, even the pelts. Yeah, nothing is cozier than dead animal skins. <laughs> mm, but this is how they live. No way. Stewed sea prunes? Help yourself. Dad could eat a whole barrel of these things. Ugh. Is it true? Yeah, Ang's gonna be. An Arctic hippo? He's gonna feel left out. Yeah. He just dragged me along. Well, the hippo did the dragging. Hey, I ride animals too. One time there was this giant eel. And so, I... who was it that came up with the great blubber fiasco? <laughs> yeah, you that's that family. Everyone does. What's that story? It's a long one, Aang. Some other time. You and Dad had so many hilarious mm. adventures. Hey, Aang, please put that down. It's ceremonial and very fragile. Was it you or Dad that He's gonna be really bored here. Grand grand. You were a water spirit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, oh, the bounty hunter. Uh, is she gonna beat that guy? Oh, he's gonna ask for her services, use the services. Ah, uh, the avatar. Makes sense. I can see that happening. Damn. Your beast trashed my ship. You have to pay me back. Well, I'd love to help you out, but I'm a little short on money. Drinks on me! Money isn't what I had in mind. Yeah. I need you to find someone. 
What happened? Your girlfriend run off on you? Not the girl <laughs> I'm after. It's the bald monk she's traveling with. Whatever you say. If you find them, I'll consider the damage to my ship paid for. <laughs> Forget it. Plus, we'll pay your weight in gold. What? What, really? Give your weight, and you gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Get on. Damn. You Yo, that's not an insane. Yeah, that's not an insane sense of smell. I'm expecting a message from your father. Really? When? Any day now. Your father said he'd send a message when they found the rendezvous point. If you wait here until the message arrives, you can come with me and see your father again. Oh, okay. It's been over two years since we've seen Dad. That would be no so way incredible. they're gonna abandon on. I do really miss him. It would be great. Surely Ong's and Golden. It's been far too it would be long, a... it? I'm not sure when word will arrive, but it does. Oh, and he's gonna go off on his own and she's gonna come after him. It's just to he's alone as well. Yeah. And these guys have got a chance to see their father. We don't have time for a long detour. I'm sure your father would understand. And be proud that his children are helping the Avatar. Oh, they're gonna help the Avatar. But he didn't hear that. I can't believe they would leave me. Oh damn! Oh, Earth Nation. Yeah. I'm looking for Bato of the Water Tribe. Uh, I know Bato. Make sure he gets this. Oh, is he gonna hand it over, or is he gonna get rid of it? It's the map to Sokka and Katara's dad. No. Oh, what are you doing, on um... This ship is sentimental to me. It was built by my father. You're just gonna make it worse for yourself, yeah. man. How about you, Saka? You must have some good stories from your first time ice dodging. He never got to go. Dad left before he was old enough. Oh, I forgot you were too young. What's ice dodging? It's a rite of passage for young water tribe members. When you turn 14, your dad takes you. You know what? You're about to find out. Ah, oh, this is where the fortune teller is. Yeah, they're gonna go to everywhere. Devin. Why are we stopping? Because the girl must have spent a lot of time here. We have no time. No, she for definitely this. didn't see yeah. <laughs> Hey, watch it! Ice dodging is a ceremonial test of wisdom, bravery, and trust. In our village, it was done by weaving a boat through a field of icebergs. How are we supposed to ice dodge without ice? You will be dodging those. Oh my god, is it? Oh of course, rocks. <laughs> Saka, you steer and call the shots. Lead wisely. Katara, you secure the mainsail. The winds can be brutal, so be brave. Aang, you control the jib. Without your steady hand, we all go down. What's the jib again? Aang, ease up on the jib. Katara, steady. Well, to come in between. Uh, Katara, give him room. That's what it is. The front of the sail. The boat. Like what he knows that. that? <laughs> Come on. He's a part of the water trap. He didn't know what that means. Oh, are they gonna fail? No, they passed. They got through. Okay. No, that's the first one. Oh my gosh. How did he get past that? We can make it. Saka, you've already proven yourself. Maybe we should. Hey, I'm gonna need air in that sail. Katara, I want you to bend as much water as you can between oh, us and Oh yeah, I think he's gonna bite now. too much. He's too confident. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Sick. Nice. Let's go. The spirits of water bear witness to these marks. For Saka, the mark of the wise. The same mark your father earned. For Katara, the mark of the brave. Your courage inspires us. And for Aang... Mark, Mark of the Trusted. <laughs> oh my god, they're just dropping it oh on him. Oh my gosh, <laughs> honorary member. You can't trust me. Aang, what are you talking about? A messenger gave this to me for Bato. I have to understand. I was afraid he would. This is the map to our father. You had it the whole time? How could you? Well, you can go to the North Pole on your own. 
I'm going to find Dad. Katara, are you with me? Whoa. I'm with you, Sokka. Duh. They, he didn't know they, were gonna, they weren't going to split up. Good luck. Okay, you too. No. I can't do this. I thought surely that girl would have reached Ang by now, but... Oh. Here uh, she comes. Yep. He's already arrived here. We're getting close. They can go straight to Katara and Sokka, but Ang's left. He's not going to be there to help them. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting smelling the necklace, so they're going after Katara. It sounds so sad. It's probably wounded. No. It's been separated from the pack. It's how I felt when the Water Tribe warriors had to leave me behind. They were my family, and being apart from them was more painful than my wounds. Is this gonna make them change their mind? Oh my god. This entire episode's about being left behind. We need to go back. I want to see Dad, but helping Aang is where we're needed the most. You're right. Your father will understand. And I know he's proud of you. Thanks, Fato. Avatar! You must leave. A group of people came to the abbey looking for you. Who? A fierce looking woman with a horrible monster and a young man with a scar. Zuko. The beast was using the scent of a necklace to follow you. A necklace? Katara. <gasps> oh, crap. Oh, damn. Hurry up, Ang. So, Use Momo. No, Momo. We'll be, hope he gets there in time. Oh, crap. No. Damn. This is your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder she left. She's way too pretty for you. Where is he? Where's the avatar? We split up. He's long gone. How stupid do you think I am? Pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, crap. that's got a long tongue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. No. Make it tumble. Go on. Let's go off it, yo! Okay! Shit! Oh no! Come on, You can do this. Okay? Oof. Yeah. Ooh! Oh. Damn! Oh, I put them flies on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh crap. no! Is that gonna affect him? Yeah. Oh, oh he's too big. How is he gonna? Oh no! Knew it. Coming up. Uh. Go oh. on. Oh. Oh crap. Oh, that was close. Crap. Go on. Come on, on. Keep going. Sick. Yo, can he bend as well? Flapping his tail creates a massive gush of wind. Okay, no. Ang. <laughs> Ang is sick at dodging, man. Look at you. Look, you two got skills, though. Yo, so just... man, I like, like this fight. Yeah. The movement and everything. So Reminds you of like a typical martial arts movie when they're so close to each other. Oh! oh! <laughs> He's gonna fall in the... <laughs> yeah. Damn. Oh my god. Oh, he's struggling now. This thing is annoying, man. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, fall. Coming up here. Uh... Damn. Oh. oh, yeah, smash it into the confuse his senses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, Cover that is. animal in it. Yeah. And it'll just it'll lose Very its clever. sense of everything. Yep. No, he can't. He's all confused. He doesn't know, thingy. What's what? What scent goes where? Ooh. Oh, hey, Zuko. Oh, hell oh, as, well. as well. 
Oh yeah, this animal's gonna out control now. So where do we go? We're getting you to the North Pole. No, I know. Whenever Zuko's always fighting Ang or when they're nearby, he's just so relaxed. He doesn't chip in, nothing like that. I feel like he just wants Zuko to do it. He just doesn't help him at all. Something to remind you, I'll be okay. Still, just a little trinket. Maybe something like this. <laughs> hey, how'd you get that? Zuko asked me to be sure I got it to you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet of Zuko. Could you give him a kiss for me when you see him? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> First kiss. Yeah. So we got two new character introductions, Vato and that girl. I don't even think we got a name for it. No, we did. She's uh, June. Oh, oh yeah, June. Okay, so Bato, they found him when they found that dagger with the world tooth. And yeah. then it led them to that trail where they were having that battle and then one of their ships was left behind. Yeah, one of their fleets behind. And it belonged to Sokka and Katara's father's friend. Yeah. his best best friend. Yeah, um, yeah. Bato and then he came, then they bonded and then Arng would felt left out so Yeah. Which caused them to do some silly stuff like keeping the map to where the father is. Then we also got that second introduction to a new character called June. And she was like, you said she was a bounty hunter. Yeah, she at did. first, uh, I didn't say it, but I, I thought she was like a Fire Nation. Because the way she was dressed, I, I swear she was in like black and red dressing. Yeah, but they never emphasized that, so I think you, you're have... probably more right. She's like no, no, she, she did say, I've captured this um, person and she's going to go collect a bounty on it. That's why. Oh, did she say Yeah, that? Yeah, she went to collect uh, some money uh, for him. So, okay, yeah, it may so make sense then. Automatically, she's a bounty hunter. She collects fugitives for money. Yeah, so that's her job, and then that animal that she had, oh I don't know what, what was it called, that sense of smell. It's like, it's like sheer shoe, sheer shoe, something, something along those lines. Yeah, that's a it's crazy animal, um, insane sense of smell. The fact they can just, and not even just like one, they can just, I certainly can connect to like so many ones, and then just follows which one. And then Zuko used her because she damaged the ship to find Ang. By using Katara's necklace that he stole. About no, he didn't five. steal. He found it. He found, oh ship. yeah, he found it. Katara dropped it. Yeah, about four or five episodes ago. And also, a lot of this episode, Ang felt left out because Katara and Sokka started bonding with uh, Bato and started reminiscing and um, whatnot. This entire episode, most of it, a good portion of it, I think dealt with you know abandonment issues. Like, yeah. Ang was feeling he's going to be abandoned. Sokka and uh, Katara went and go to meet their father and they had flashbacks with soccer being abandoned by his father mm -hmm. he wanted to go with him but he wasn't uh, um, old enough then he had Bato who was abandoned but it, not necessarily abandoned all these all these characters but he, he, had to, he, he had to be left behind yeah yeah I to. should say that the, the, the he, left yeah, he was, behind yeah he wasn't abandoned um, you know because he was injured and was left yeah. out and then he did that silly thing you know keeping that map away I, t I truly thought they would just leave him. They were going to go separate ways. I'm going, no, the cap was... I'm no, happy but when you think I'm about it, it makes sense that they didn't because yeah. this is all about helping Ang, which they eventually realised, like, we can't go see our father, we'll have to help Ang to go yeah. train. No, that's why I was happy they resolved it within the this episode. Yeah, so, and then that end battle was sick when they all found each other. Yeah. And then they went, I, Upper, oh my gosh. I, 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 thought, he was, I thought he was uh, air bending, but he's using his tail. His massive tail to, yeah, do, yeah. to force air against the animal. I, like, I didn't know Arn was such a fire. I thought he was just like an animal that could fly, but he did seem pretty well against the other animal. Yeah. Just the, uh, the animal had that tongue that was, had poison on it, that venom just held thingy back. And then Arn got put down, but then eventually they a used The fight that. scene between Arn and Zuko, yeah. I think that was the best fight scene in this show so far. Different bending styles are after like certain martial arts. So, so I know someone commented that on like one of our earlier videos. Yeah. So that's like kind of reminds especially in like close combat. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen that in movies I've where they're really movie, close yeah. and they're just fighting uh, close combat, which is, which is pretty cool. And then eventually they managed to resolve this whole situation by um, using that perfume those sisters yeah. made. And then, yeah, that confused the thing. And then he just went crazy and he just left. June got knocked out. Zuko got knocked out as well, but he didn't get the brunt of it. And, um, and then Iroh, Iroh man, he's the, the whole horny Iroh. <laughs> he's a, oh my gosh, he's a sick guy. <laughs> what um, a joker. You can always uh, trust him to lighten the mood. Yeah. 
All right, guys, what did you think of that episode? Let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you liked our reaction, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.